Okay, question 13. The function f of x is defined by f of x is the cube root of 27 minus 8x cubed. Jenny uses a scientific calculator uh, to create a table of values for f of x and f dash of x. Part 1 answers to Use calculus to find an expression for f dash of x and hence explain the um, hence explain why the calculator gives an error for f dash of 1.5. Okay, so f of x is the cube root of 27 minus 8x cubed. That is 27 minus 8x cubed to the power of a third. So, we can use the chain rule to differentiate so f dash of x is going to be one third times, now the bracket is going to differentiate to minus 24x squared and then the power goes down by one so that's going to be 27 minus 8x cubed to the minus 2 thirds. Okay, so that is minus 8x squared over 27 minus 8x cubed squared and cube rooted. Now, when x is equal to one point Five twenty seven minus eight times one point five cubed is going to give us zero. So that is why we get an error. So we get an error Q to dividing by zero. Cool. Okay, then part two answers to find the first three terms in the binomial expansion of f of x. Okay, so we are given the formula for this. Here, so the one I'm going to use is the bottom one, 1 add x to the power of n. To be able to use that, we need to do a bit of magic. So you can use um, the normal formula, it's just going to be messy. So, f of x is the cube root of 27 minus 8x cubed. So that to the power of third. Now to turn the 27 into 1, we need to take out 
in fact the uh, of 27 <coughs> now that is going to be to the one third so then inside we have 1 minus 8 x cubed over 27 to the power of a third ok so 27 to the third is 3 so we get that f of x is approximately equal to 3 and then it's time for the formula so the first term is just 1 and then we have um, add n times x so that's going to be add one third times minus eight x cubed over twenty seven. That is what our x is. And then the next term is um n times n minus 1 x squared over 2 factorial so for that we're going to get 1 third times minus 2 thirds times minus 8 x cubed over 27 squared all over 2 Lovely. Okay, so we've got three lots of one. Now, one third times minus eight x squared over twenty seven is going to give us minus eight x squared over eighty. One and then one third times minus two thirds is going to give us minus two ninths. That two can cancel out with the two on the bottom, so we get minus a ninth. Times now minus 8x squared over 27, sorry minus 8x cubed over 27 squared is going to give us uh, 64x to the power of 6 over 27 squared is 729 So, that then is approximately 3 minus 8x squared over 27. So I'm multiplying through now by this 3 on the outside. And then the final term we should get as... Uh, minus 64 x to the 6 over 2187 cool so that is our expansion ok then for part 3 Jenny integrates the first 3 terms of the binomial expansion of f of x uh, to estimate the value of the integral from 0 to 1 of the cube root of 27 uh, minus 8x cubed. Explain why Jenny's method is valid in this case. We do not need to do the integration. Uh, so, 
This comes down to the binomial expansion of 1 add x to the power of n is valid for modulus of x less than 1. So here, so 1 add x to the power of n is valid for the modulus of x being less than 1. So for us, uh, we know 27 add 8, sorry, minus minus 8x cubed to the third was equal to 3 times 1 minus 8x cubed over 27 to the third so that is valid for the modulus of minus 8x cubed over 27 is less than 1. Now, it's in the modulus, so we don't really care about the negative. We can multiply through by the 27 divided by the 8. So we would get the modulus of x cubed is less than uh, 27 over 8. Cubery then modulus of x is less than uh, 3 over 2. So the modulus of x has to be less than 1.5. Now both limits of the integral uh, satisfy x or mod x is less than 1.5 so is valid go ok then part 4 wants us to use the trapezium rule with 4 strips to work out an estimate for the integral between 0 and 1 of our function. Ok, so we are given the trapezium rule in all its glory. So, here it is. So the trapezium rule says the integral between a and b of y with respect to x is h over 2 times y naught and y n add 2 lots of y1 and y2 blah 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 all the way up to y n minus 1 ok so first up h is going to be 1 minus 0 over 4 so that's 0 0.25 now our ordinates are going to be x 0 is equal to 0 x1 is equal to 0 0.25 x1 sorry x2 is 0 0.5 x3 is 0 0.75 and x4 is uh, 1 now that means then that y naught is 
uh, the cube root of 27 minus 0 is 3. Now the other one that's nice to do with our calculator is x4. So when x is 1, we got the cube root of 27 minus 8. So that's the cube root of 19. So the rest, I'm going to do with a calculator, not going to bother you with the details. Okay, so there are all of our y values. So make sure you get the same. And then the area is approximately. So h over 2 is. Uh, 0 0.25 over 2 so that's 0 0.125 times y naught uh, which was 3 add the final y value which was cube root of 19 which is 2.6684 add two lots of uh, 2.9954 add Uh, two point nine six two five add um two point eight six nine four now putting that into your calculator and remember be really careful with the brackets and stuff we should get an answer of uh, 2.9153 Thank God that's done. Okay, then for the final part, we are given the actual value that the calculator gives for the integral 2.99 blah blah blah. Uh, the graph of the function is shown. We want to explain why the trapezium rule gives an underestimate. So, if we were to draw the trapeziums we can see that there is area between the top of each trapezium and the curve this area is not accounted for using the trapezium rule so we have missing area which means that we would always get an underestimate. Cool.